Okay, welcome to Paint Annapolis 2020. It's been kind of a wild year. Um, as most of you know, we were supposed to hold this event in June. And we were shut down by the city, and then we were assigned a week by the city to do it. And so Maryland Federation of Art is extremely excited that we were able to pull off one of the few in-person plein air events in the country this year. We had originally invited 30 artists um, to come and paint in our, in our city streets and interpret our historic city in oil, pastel, watercolor, and acrylic. And we only ended up with 19 being able to participate. We had several from Europe, some from Canada, some from the West Coast and the South that couldn't make it. But we were thrilled to welcome these artists, as well as the 70 public artists in our community, in our state, some from out of state, who came for the entire week to paint in Annapolis and share their talent with us. We now have artwork at 18 State Circle, at Circle Gallery, Maryland Federation of Arts Home, as well as an art pop-up at 186 Main Street. So there's lots of art to look at. The arts are the second hardest hit industry during COVID, second only to the hospitality industry. And right now the best way to support an artist is to buy art. Maryland Federation of Art has been extremely lucky in putting on Cain Annapolis to have such loyal sponsors. And I can't thank enough um, the, all the individuals and especially the small businesses that contributed this year. It's been a tough time for small businesses to come up with extra money to support a nonprofit. And for that, I'm extremely grateful. I also want to thank PNC Bank, National Harbor, and Annapolis Subaru for their continued support of this fabulous community event. With that, I want to introduce our juror, Abigail McBride. Abigail was um, gracious enough to say that she would jury this event for us when obviously we could not bring in our regular juror who lives out of state. Uh, she's a very well-known local painter and instructor, um, has a lot of different students in the community who I'm sure were out there painting. And she's somebody that every time I talk about her, they go, oh, she's a fabulous juror because she gives great remarks. So I'm really gonna let Abigail sort of run the evening, um, introduce the art, we have lots of awards. Um, we tried to spread as much money out as we could. Uh, we were able this year, because of the support of our sponsors, to give $12,500 in awards to the community artists as well as to the jury artists. So Abigail, it's all yours. Thank you for that introduction. Um, very exciting event, and it uh, feels very full circle for me to be here today. Um, but first I'm going to uh, ask, Cynthia McBride is gonna come and she is going to present the Annapolis Gallery Association Award. Thank you, Abigail. The Annapolis Gallery Association is made up of about 14 galleries. And this year we selected Chris Graha uh, as the award winner of, for her body of work. Congratulations, Chris. Oh, congratulations, Chris, it's very exciting. So now I would like to send it to Bruno Moran, who is going to tell us a little bit about the Mid-Atlantic Plain Air Painters Association, also known as MAPACA. Oh, okay, well, Bruno is a great talker, but I can go ahead and let you know that the Mid-Atlantic Plain Air Painters Association award as a part of the public awards for the community that joined us to paint goes to Melissa Greider for her painting called 2020. And I chose this award um, to represent Mapaka. Melissa is a local painter who has connections to the Naval Academy, and she painted this view of the Naval Academy scene. It is very poignant, and it has a lot of deep narrative content, but also a beautiful glowing light effect. I really enjoyed the serpentine shapes that she found and repeated through the painting. And congratulations, Melissa. Okay, so now we're going to ask Jean Shaw is going to speak about the Friends of the Arts. Thank you. 
My name is Jean Shaw and Friends of the Arts is a nonprofit organization that provides support to local arts organizations and individuals to further their art related goals and to nurture an appreciation of the arts amongst our members. We donate to various arts organizations to support the arts in Annapolis while enjoying the appreciation of art and forming collegial relationships through meetings and art related trips. Our membership would include meetings and activities, artist demonstrations, as well as lectures, opportunities to visit art venues. Examples would be artist studios and museums in usually day trip venues and special event parties and fundraising. To become a member, the dues are $35 per year and to join our local FOTA, Friends of the Arts, you would email membership chair, Jean Shaw, to receive a membership form. And the gallery would have that, but it is J-E-A-N-N-E-S-H-A-W-4-2 at yahoo.com. It's a wonderful evening, a wonderful opportunity, and it's been a wonderful week. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jean. Uh, well, now the third place award for, uh, from the Friends of the Arts goes to Rahendra KC, Maryland Avenue. It's a watercolor. This is a glorious sparkling watercolor that is using everything that a watercolor paint, paint watercolor as a paint media can do with the lights coming through from the paper. I was particularly impressed by how just easily it looked like you laid in the patterns of the windows without it subduing the light effect and they maintain a feeling of energy and movement. It's an iconic scene of Annapolis and I thought that it sparkled with light and joy and it looked like, wow, this is someone who really knows what they're doing with watercolor and I really enjoyed the painting, so congratulations. For our second place award, that goes to Stacy Sass for her watercolor, A River for All. This is uh, another watercolor painting, beautiful painting that really brings back lots of memories for me as someone who grew up in Annapolis and uh, really has many times enjoyed experiencing the views and I've never fished off of that boat, off of the, the old bridge, but I painted there quite a lot and I felt like she really captured the spirit of that place and uh, the, the bright white fishing lines coming down and catching the light. It just painted a memory. It painted the feeling of a place, which is so much what plain air and Indianapolis is all about. So congratulations. Now for our first place for the public awards, uh, goes to Ed Freeby, A River for All. It's an oil painting, and I really love this painting, Ed. It is the shapes, the shapes and the way that the space is broken up. Beautiful variety and design in the brush strokes, the mark making and the paint handling. I, uh, I enjoy the title, A River for All, but what I enjoy the most is the sense of composition and a sense of light in the piece. I really like the feeling of movement, the tree blocking the view, the water behind. It all feels very balanced and peaceful, but with still a lot of light and energy. So congratulations. Ed. Okay, so now we are going to send it to uh, Mayor Gavin Buckley and he will have a word. Uh, hi, this is Mayor Buckley at one of my favorite events that we do here in the city of Annapolis. Paint Annapolis, put on by MFA, is one of the reasons this town is so special to live in. What's more uh, romantic than coming around the corner and seeing an artist with an easel painting some of the beautiful things that we see in the city of Annapolis. So today I picked three of my favorites from this show. Uh, the first one I loved um, was uh, Crooked Cornhill by Fred Jackson. Just uh, love the way, kind of the modern interpretation of, of that building. That was a special one for my, for myself. 
um, and I love that street, of course. Um, the second one I've chosen is Annapolis Downtown. It's a scene during the, next to the market house with all the tents in the recovery zone, which is something obviously I care a lot about too. And then lastly, there's a pretty little picture by Jane Ferguson called Secret Garden, and they are my three picks for this year's Paint Annapolis event. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we have the juried artists awards that we will present next. And the first award is the Mapica Award or the Mid-Atlantic Planner Painters Association Award. And this award goes to uh, Vlad Duchev, Last Days of Summer. This is an oil painting and um, I chose this award because the water is so enchanting. It really pulled me in. The color relationships, in particular the green of the water in the uh, shadow, was really pulled me in. I felt like the entire painting had this feeling of pulling me down as though I was about to jump into the water. Even the ripples looked like maybe something else had just been dropped in the water. But it had the feeling of summer. It had the quality of light. It organized a lot of the chaotic scenes that were there into a cohesive experience of standing on a dock, looking down at the water, and enjoying the light and the rippling in it. So congratulations to Vlad. Our next award is the Best of the Bay Award, and that award goes to Krista Pisano for Pastel Bay. This is an oil on panel, and it might not be as obvious in an online format, but this is a tiny painting. It is seven by two. And the one thing that can be lost in the online environment is the sense of scale and the sense of surface and texture that you experience when you see art in person. So I do encourage everyone to come uh, in a socially distanced way and come and see the work because it's really worth it. But this is an enchanting little jewel of a painting. And, uh, it's, I can see it over there, so that's why I keep looking over there. <laughs> it's so peaceful. It is so, it's like a tiny little powerhouse package. But what I love the most is as I peered into it, I noticed that she has these tiny strokes and the patterns of her strokes are very considered. And the pattern of the way that she placed the trees and the way that she placed the ripples in the water, the entire effect really feels like tight realism, it feels like the glow of light, but when you, even in such a tiny piece, when you go in and look, you can see that the hand of the artist is expressed beautifully and thoughtfully. So congratulations. Our next award is the Urban Landscape Award, and this award goes to David Diaz for A Lovely Day. Now, this painting caught my eye early in my walkthrough because it is just screaming with light effect. It is just right in your face and I love it. I love a good light effect. And so there's, it's one of those street scenes that when you're in Annapolis and everyone's sitting outside and painting, which I'm not painting, everyone's sitting outside and eating, it's just such an Annapolis thing. And you walk by and you're always curious about the people, but the light is streaming by. I just felt like it really captured that kind of an urban moment that Annapolis has, and yet still very friendly, but really it's the light effect. It's uh, a beautiful thing. Congratulations, David. So our next award is the Annapolis Gallery Association Award for the jury artists. So uh, that award goes to Lynn Meta. Congratulations, Lynn. All of the galleries love you. <laughs> um, now, the next award that we have is the Artist Diaz Memorial Light Award. And so I chose Lon Brower Fleet Street uh, oil painting for this award. Now, you might have thought that I would have chosen a splashier light effect for something that is the Light Award. But I did feel like this painting is all about the light. It is not a hardcore screaming light effect, 
it's a more gentle light effect where maybe the cloud is coming through, maybe the sun is coming a little bit through a misty cloud. And that light is just as beautiful as the super strong, splashy sunlight. And really, the more I looked at the painting, the more I realized that even though this is a painting full of excitement, brush marks, it even has some what seemingly might be arbitrary brush marks in it, the whole thing centers around that light effect. And it is beautiful. It's a beautiful composition. It's beautifully painted. I feel like it all works together. So congratulations. Our next award is the Artist Choice Award. Whoa, that's very exciting. And the person who won the Artist Choice Award is Matt Barber Kennedy for, I don't have the name of the- No, it's Body of Work. Oh, it's a Body of Work. Oh, for Body of Work. Ooh, well, congratulations. That is quite an honor. Um, so our next uh, award is the Nocturne Award. <clears throat> So all of the artists um, painted a nocturne, and the nocturnes were not up for other awards. So as a body of work, all of the art, all of the nocturnes were judged together, and one painting was chosen. And the painting is Georgiana Lenson facing the Severn Bridge. And uh, I chose this for the nocturne award, like right away. I mean, I love this painting so much. <laughs> it's so exciting. It is deep and rich with beautiful sparkly lights. I don't know if you can see it online, but the layering of the paint and the feeling of, I don't know, like falling in water. I mean, I maybe that sounds crazy, but this painting to me feels like what it feels like to paint a nocturne, where you can't really see what you're doing, but the scene in front of you is ephemeral and fleeting and magical and I feel like this painting captures all of those things and I just loved it right away. So congratulations. All right and now I am going to bring in Grace Bowen and Melanie Farragut from PNC. I'm Grace Bowen and we are proud to sponsor the arts at PNC. And we are proud to be part of the community. That's great. Thank you so much to PNC. The support is so meaningful. The um, PNC award goes to Stork White Iron Rooster Outdoor Seating. So I chose this award. I mean, Stork White. Oh my goodness. Who can paint such complicated things? with such a masterful unity but really this composition felt very special because it's really a balance of a lot of detailed information painted very loosely and yet accurately and all of those stripes and then everything culminating in the one thing that you would normally not think to look at or to make your painting the focus of which is the telephone pole or the, the electric pole which is a big part of the Annapolis landscape so as an abstract composition, I feel like it works very well, but also just as one of those special corners of Annapolis where people sit outside and the awnings and the urban and everything just holds together with a beautiful light effect. But really it's the handling of coming up with a unified composition, dealing with a lot of small elements and having them all be subordinate to your idea, which I think you do very well. So congratulations to Stuart White. So now I'm going to bring in Kent Digby from National Harbor. Good evening. Uh, it's my pleasure to represent National Harbor. And um, it's always great to be at this event. This is the second time we've been a sponsor. And we enjoy it so much. I can tell you that uh, uh, it's meaningful to us at National Harbor. Uh, Alison Menke won it last year, and uh, she went on to get 10 commission uh, paintings at National Harbor. Uh, so we thank a lot of her and a lot of her art, and uh, certainly a lot of this event. And I know the recipient this year has done beautiful work. I've taken the time to look at it and appreciate it. And I can't wait to uh, meet you, and perhaps we can do something uh, equally as uh, creative at National Harbor. So thank you again, and it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Ken. 
So the National Harbor Award goes to Jackie Clark for her painting, The Sunday Regatta. Oh, Regatta. And um, I really, really enjoyed the dance of shapes in this painting. It really, the water is beautiful and it leads you nicely in the shapes that you put into the water. But it's really about the conversation that the shapes of the sailboats, the sails on the sailboats and the pattern of the trees behind and how they all are dancing and conversing with one another on your way out to the distance. And it just, I thought that that was a beautiful handling of a very tricky subject because for one, those sailboats, they just never sit still once they're in the water like that. And so you really are the one who has to come up with that design based on a lot of activity. And it is a beautiful orchestration of a feeling of the passage of time as you are sitting there painting, experiencing all these things moving, and you have to find a way to express it in a static way and still convey the feeling. And I, was, I just really thought this painting did it. It felt like movement and I could see how the conversation was working. So congratulations. Okay, and so now we have uh, Michelle Eichhorn from Annapolis Subaru, our next sponsor. Good evening. On behalf of Annapolis Subaru, we just want to say thank you to everyone for persevering and carrying on to have this event, and especially our thanks and appreciation to the Maryland Federation of Art for making this happen and making 2020 feel a little bit more normal. That's great. Thank you, Jeanapolis Subaru. These sponsors are so important to making these things happen and their contributions to the community will be remembered. Um, so the Annapolis Subaru Award goes to Neil Hughes Rooftop View. This painting caught my eye very quickly. It is really a rock star of light effect, perspective drawing, but it also is just one of those unique little scenes. It is a real, co a real coordination of shapes and patterns, not just the actual shapes of the buildings, but the patterns of light and shade themselves. And of course, again, I don't know how well you can see this at home, but the layering and the surface qualities in the paint are really, really beautiful. It all looks so easy. Is it easy? But I don't know. It, you make it look easy, but this is a beautiful painting. It's beautifully composed and executed. It has wonderful light quality and a feeling of presence, a feeling that the viewer is actually there enjoying that moment with you. So congratulations to Neil. And now I am going to send it back to Joanne Vaughn. Thank you, Abigail. Um, it's been really fun this evening, even though we missed having everyone in the gallery. Um, you may not know, but Abigail was part of the group that started Painting Annapolis um, in 2002, Two? we think. Um, and we found some old photographs of her painting um, in 2003. So she's been a longtime supporter in her own way of Painting Annapolis and participated in it. It's been great to have Cynthia McBride, her mom, who runs the Annapolis Gallery Association has been a huge mentor to me as I moved into a job where I knew a lot about nonprofit organization, but not very much about art. Um, we're, we've been delighted to have PNC this year as a sponsor. Grace literally was talking to me on a Saturday morning when they opened the PPP loans to make sure that we got processed and that is a very tiny nonprofit. We were not a big company that had big relationships and big bank accounts. We're a small little nonprofit with big dreams. And she made sure that we got our PPP, PPP loan. Um, Kent Digby's been a great supporter. Um, he stumbled upon us last year, has supported the arts ever since. Um, and he is, he is creating an event where we can get artists in front of professional developers and decorators to expand their careers. And of course, Annapolis Subaru has been a supporter of Maryland Federation of Art for at least 20 years. Um, and as I told Michelle, 100% of the staff at Maryland Federation of Art drives Subaru. <laughs> so <laughs> we are extremely happy for all the support. It was very fun this week to welcome all the artists in. I know they were so excited to get out and paint. 
and we're excited to have you come and see their work. Circle Gallery will be open tomorrow from 10 to 6, and the Main Street Gallery will be open from noon to 6, and we hope to see you in the gallery, um, as Abigail said, from a safe distance, um, wearing a mask, and we can like two people in the gallery at a time, but we want you to see the work. It's just fabulous. So thank you to everybody who made this possible. Thank you to Martha and Evan in the back room who have been running tech for us, and with that, we'll say good night and hopefully see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you.